hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video we are going to look at how we can perform image segmentation using yolo v8 segmentation model and i will guide you through all the entire process starting from downloading the data set from kaggle training the yolo v8 model and making the inferences on image as well as on the video so without wasting further time let's begin with our tutorial we are using the data set that is freely available on kaggle called porthole data set in order to download the data set from kaggle we need kaggle installed in our google collab right so in order to install the kaggle we just have to write pip install kaggle let's run the cell and our kaggle library will be installed in kaggle collab now let's make a one directory called dot kaggle and we also need a kaggle api in order to download the data set from kaggle so uh, you can assess the kaggle api from your kaggle account i already have a kaggle api so let's import it into the google collab uh, it will be called kaggle.json file so let's upload it after uploading let's copy this kaggle.json file into the folder that we have just created right there let's run the cell and get the permission to download the data set and this is the link of the data set right this is porthole image segmentation data set and uh, i will mention the link of this data set in the video description you can assess it easily so let's run the cell as you can see our data set is downloading now let's unzip the data set because when we download the data set from kaggle it will be in a zip file so in order to use the data set we need to unzip it so let's unzip as you can see our data is unzipped and we can look at right there is this is a porthole segmentation your lobby 8 data set right this contain the trend directory validation and this is the data.yml that would contain the name of the classes that is present in our data set and the path of the validation and path of the train so let's uh, Im install the ultralytics because the v8 uh, segmentation model present in ultralytics so we need to install this library and this can be easily assessed using pip install ultralytics so our library is installed now let's import some basic libraries and we also importing the yolo from the ultralytics and cv2 to perform the image processing image yaml and random libraries after running the cell let's set the size of the plot within the notebook so now let's plot some train images and this is the path of our data data right because our data is present in the in the port or segmentation yolo v8 and now let's call this data directory and within this data directory we have a train model and under the train directory we have the images that's why we are sitting the train and images right there and it will tell it will take all the path of the train images now list 
them all the train images so for that we have just used os.list directory and uh, all the image in a dot jpg format so it will take all the images and list them that we that file we end with dot jpg right now select the random images and we are selecting the 15 you can increase the size or uh, adjust it according to your desire now we select the size of the plot right and uh, just uh, take the size and uh, read the image and plot the image so let's run this cell as you can see our data is loaded successfully in our google collab and this is the data set that we are going to use for today for today's tutorial now let's download the yolo v8 segmentation model from the ultralytics and we just need to put the yolo v8 and nano model and segmentation.pt which is the pre-trained model available so we just fine tune this uh, pre-trained model model now let's run this cell after running the cell you can see our model is downloaded after downloading the model let's set the path of our data.yml file let me show you what's what is present inside data.yml and uh, you can see this will contain the train uh, uh, path of the train it take the uh, have a path of validation and number of classes nc is mean the number of classes present in our data set is only a portal so it's one class only and uh, the name of the class is portal so these are the main features we are going to use from the data.yml so let's set the path uh, we will first take the path of this directory which is the data set directory and under this directory we have data data dot yml file so let's run this cell now it's time to fine tune our model so in order to fine tune the pre-trained model on our custom data set we need to set model dot train and give the config model dot train configurations so first configuration configuration is data which will take the path of our data so you know as we have the path of train and validation in yml file so that's why we are giving the path of our yml file right there in our data and we are training the model for 30 apex and size of image is 3 uh, 640 and batch size is 32 optimizer is auto you can set it adam or something uh, else according to your requirement and this is the initial learning rate rate and this is our final learning rate and we are using regularization uh, and dropout is set 0.25 and device is equal to 0 and seed is equal to 42 let's run the cell as you can see our model training has been started so it will take some time so i will be right back once the model is trained okay guys and our model is trained for 20 epochs and it's safe to models but we have to uh, take the best model okay and this is saved under the run folder uh, in segmentation train folder so first we need to get this best model so you how you can assess this best model just go to the runs in segmentation segment under the train 
and there is a folder called weights and under this weight we, we, you have a best.pt model so just copy the path of this model and paste right there so now load this model so let's run the cell so in order to make the inferences on image we need the validation images that is present in the data directory under the folder called validation and inside the validation we have a validation images now list them all the images that is present inside the validation images so now select the random images and plot 10 by 10 graph of size of the plot and then read the image path and give this to the model here our model will predict on the test images uh, for now we have valid so this is the size of images 640 and uh, now let's run the cell it will take some time to make the inferences on images uh, as you can see it will make the prediction on the validation data set and it's perfectly segment all the porthole that is present inside the image but there are some faults here it not predicting this porthole this and also in this image as well so but most of the uh, case we have our very well results on the validation image for thir 30 epochs you can train for more epochs and, and now let's make the inferences on video and we also have a video inside our data so this is the sample video just copy the path and paste right there right so after giving this path let's run the cell and uh, just ignore this two cell and now we are make the predictions on this video so that's why so the configuration of model of predict will take the source as the video video as a source and uh, save is equal to true because we want to save the video as well so let's run the cell you can see it's make the prediction 642 and no detection as well and these are the basically making the prediction on each frame that is present inside the video you can see it saved the result inside the run segment and inside the segment folder there is a predict folder where you our result on the image uh, video is present uh, so let's go the segment and here is a predict and this is the video now let's uh, play this video inside the notebook in order to play this video we need this simple code so give the path of the video and we we need to convert the format of the video into the dot mp4 from dot a b i so after converting this we can run it easily inside the notebook so once the cell is completed you can see the video right there let's wait for some moments now as you can see it display the image right in our browser uh, in notebook so let's play the video and you can see it's making the inferences on a video in a real time and uh, now once you got that our model is performing well you can save the model and use this model for the real time predictions so that's it for today's video if you like this 
this video please share and subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next video